Hi, I'm Tamara from TamaraBlossom.com and this is video two in my seven part video series on introducing you to the jade egg practice. Today I want to talk about why you want to use jade because there's a lot of different yoni eggs out there on the market. There is um, obsidian, rose quartz, red jasper, amethyst, just to name a few. And so why would you like to choose jade and not these others? So traditionally, it was jade that was used in the ancient lineage of the jade egg practice. It was actually known as the stone of heaven. Jade is known as the stone for wealth, health, and love. So there are two types of jade. There is jadeite and there is nephrite. And generally, um, nephrite is the stone used for the jade egg practice. Uh, jadeite can be used as well. I believe it's just more expensive and more rare to get. The properties are a little bit less grounding and a little bit more dream world or you know accessing your the spirit realm more than um, I think the jade is more emotionally balancing and uh, grounding and protective. It is a heart chakra stone so it's also great for emotional healing. All around jade is known as the the protection talisman and a stone of health, wealth, love, confidence. Here's the interesting thing, nephrite, the word nephrite comes from the Greek word nephros, which means kidney. So it's actually named that because of its healing benefits on the kidneys, bladder, liver, nervous system, and that's important when we're doing sexual work, when you learn later on as you delve deeper in, you know that you find out about the connection between the kidneys and our sexual organs. It is also a stone that is said to eliminate negative thoughts and bring luck to the person who's wearing it. And it also is a stone of longevity. So it's supposed to help the regeneration of your cells and help you live a long, healthy life. So why nephrite jade? The thing is there's a lot of fake jade eggs out there on the market and the difference will be that true jade is um, very dense and hard stone it's a it's even harder than steel it has a tightly packed fiber structure and it has been created under lots of pressure in the earth so I've actually dropped my jade egg before on a concrete ground just from this height by accident and it was fine at first I was like oh my god my, st my egg but it was okay so you know you have a real egg when it doesn't just crack a little bit more about the other eggs that are out there just being mindful of stepping into using different yoni eggs in my opinion I would say start with the jade egg if you're new to this practice begin with the traditional way and over time as you feel like you've mastered some foundations of it you know then maybe play with some other eggs but just watch out for fake yoni eggs and just be aware of the different healing properties of the crystals like for example obsidian it's a volcanic stone um, that is quite grounding and, and, and heavy so it's used for shadow work uh, it, I would say it's a more masculine type of stone so putting something like that into my vagina uh, I you know just be ready be mindful think about what you're doing rose quartz sounds really great but quartz uh, is an amplifier so it will multiply what is already there so if you're not completely pure and and totally like know that your heart is open and you feel like you feel love then it's going to multiply other things so just be aware for that that's why I love the Jade because the Jade actually helps clear out negative and is balancing and healing all around so just it's just a, just the safest stone in my point of view if you like this video click like and subscribe to my channel so I hope that gives you some more clarity on why you want to use Jade as your yoni egg Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video, video three on the background and the holistic picture on the jade egg practice.